Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be carrying on with cats and knives. Let's continue to dive straight into our save. So, things have been happening. Things have been happening. We just come in this room. Um, I think we'll do what we can to muck the joint up. Oh, we've knocked something over. What was it? Can we jump down into it? We, if we run through it, do we? Oh, we get stuck. painting. Right, there's going to be a purpose to running in that... St oh look, sticky paw prints everywhere now. Yeah. Where can we go with that? Wish we got our sticky paw prints all over. Oh, she's going to hate that. <laughs> look what I'm doing. What's this sticky mess? Is she going to clean it? I don't know. Uh, let's go in here. We can always go and top up our sticky feet if we feel it, it needs it. Bernard. What are you doing here? Are you drunk? Huh? Huh? the least of our worries, Lorraine. Bernard, what happened? You know who I met in San Francisco yesterday? I was at a gathering in Haight. Or Haight, how do you pronounce that? You still hang with those people. Those hippies. There I met... him. I can't remember his name. I, I fucking can't. Bernard, I'll start worrying soon. But does that really matter, Lorraine? He was just another lost soul among countless others. Who? <gasps> this man, aren't you listening? It started as another talk on inequality and how broken this world is. Then the man started telling me about his father. How his father died. Oh, let me correct that. How his father was murdered. And you and me and every fucking person around us knows who the murderers are. Could you please tell me what's going on before I go completely crazy? His father was a miner. Worked in a place they call the Meat Grinder. It was a place that people enter in jumpsuits and leave in body bags. No real regulations, pathetically theatrical inspections. Why didn't anyone interfere, I asked. Why didn't anyone stop it? That's how it works, man, he replied. Connections within the state government, old money, powerful family. And what did we have, he said. His great-grandfather was a slave. His grandfather was a slave. His father was apparently a slave. And there he was, all alone against this system of never-ending misery. So I asked him where his father had died. No, no, you can't mean it. Oh, you see where it goes now, darling. Bernard, you cannot act on the word of just one man you met at... I checked the accounts. Checked them all. These people from the slums, the undocumented, the hopeless. They were basically throwing themselves into this... this. Meat Grinder, also known as the Mason Mining Company. Welcome to the family, darling. Where slavery just put on a safety helmet and blood money is a plenty. Dark secrets in the family. What can we do on this bed? Where is that? 
we pull it out? Okay, I think if we've done it three times and nothing happens, it probably means it can't be interacted with at least yet. Okay, well, we've done that. Ooh, what's happening? We've got another rat. Could we downstairs? Looks like it. <gasps> Food time. Thank you, Auntie Dawn. Come on. Slow now, Aspen. You're not hitting the gym anytime soon. Oh, we like Dawny. Hmm? Addy. You startled me. Why were you ninjuring over there? Huh? Just listening to my iPod. And enjoying the luxury of being alone, I guess. Can't argue with that. This real estate BS is really sucking my life away. You mean the sale of this place? It's all about the money, right? Huh, girl, you haven't seen a thing. Aunt Dawn? Drop the aunt, please. You make me feel like a cookie brand. I'll try. Well, I was just wondering what you do for a living. I mean, you seem unaffected by all this m m m m m madness. Arms trafficking. Joking. I make video games. Still joking, right? Nope. I make and sell video games. All by myself, actually. I mean, not huge AAA titles or anything like that, but... You know, some teeny-weeny indie games that still manage to suck my whole time away. This is the coolest job ever! Tougher than it seems, especially when you're alone. But who am I to complain? I do what I love. I need some time to digest that. Wow. My aunt is a video game designer. I still can't move, by the way. Oh, who dis? That's Bernard. What's the matter, Aspen? Let's go chase them. I won't be a part of this. Uh, Addie came in here, didn't she? Oh, is this cupboard? Well, that wasn't open before, was it? Ooh, what do we got? Mm, maybe we could drop it in the sticky stuff. Oh, no, we're locked in. Very quick to say turn on the hints menu. It's alright, I'll figure it out. Give me a minute. What's this? Oh, we can drop drop it anywhere. Alright. It makes sense to drop it. I could drop it on this fawn thing. Still think does that do anything? I still think the sticky stuff would have been good. I don't know why. Just dropping something in sticky stuff seems like a good idea, maybe. The mirror. Oh, Bernard's back. Maybe we should drop it on the table where he was? Did his dad have the serviette in that quick flashback that we had? 
we drop it? Ah. Yeah, it's dad used it. What did you just say? I said I won't be a part of this. Look, son. I will say this once, and I will say this just because you clearly lack the faculties required to see the equation that we are all a part of. You, me, our grandfathers, their grandfathers, kings and beggars and savages. They were and are all part of this equation. Since the very beginning, you are either the victor or the victim itself. And believe me, the ones that you pity so much, the ones that you challenge, or the ones that you challenge your own father for, given the opportunity, they will tear you into pieces and suck your bones dry. This is the first and the last time we talk about such nonsense. You have children, you have a family, you look after your own. Just as I looked after mine. Don't make me feel disappointed for that, Bernard. Now, if you don't mind... I have a meeting with Senator Andrews. Doorbell? Hmm. How do we get out there? Oh! Oh, Miss Nunez. Loving it. Ah, good. As I said, this probably is much more convenient than the, um, the Axe Killer House. Welcome to the Mason Manor, Mr. Barnes. I've heard about you and your books. Macabre works of literature I collect. They are whatever you find them to. Th th <gasps> oh, my allergies. Is there some kind of pet in the. Ah, there you are. Let us show you around, Mr. Barnes. Please, follow us. Stick to him like glue. Make him sneeze. Don't close the door. Ow. Oh, we love this hat stand. Interesting. Oh no, we're stuck in a stuck in a coat. <laughs> uh, whose coat is that? Is it the lawyer's coat? How about we just loll around on it? <laughs> is there a reason for this being here? Did I hear a door go? Have they opened it now. Oh, they have. Wait for me. The Lady of Shalad. I'm impressed. I just don't like his voice. I'm going to make him cockney. It's a reproduction, though. He's going to be a bit more all right, love. Do I see a mammoth cave double blended over there? <laughs> Used to be in the pre-Liam times. If we go here, does he sneeze if we're up high when he walks past? A reproduction, you said. That's true, he had a very good one. I can see that. Oh, and he's bent over. Are you going to make him sneeze? I wish we could have said the same about his property investments. Uh, I thought that would do it, honestly, when we were over there. Unless we got to jump on his back. Maybe we jump on his back when he's bent over. I'll wait here for him to come back. Any minute now.
Okay. No, still no? Oh, why do I have to go all the way there to jump down? Anything we can do? I jump down that direction. Play with his ponytail or something? You take the cat out. Go away, you furry, allergy inducing cretin. How rude. Oh. oh, he wants it to be a haunted house, right? Let's wait till he's over there and then we'll come and uh, scratch by this window. What was that? What was that? Was was that a screeching? A oh, most ominous sound. Is my mind playing tricks on me? Maybe maybe we've got to run back and in. Jump on something near him. He got a tail in his face. Trophy room? You got a trophy room? Could be the perfect backdrop for the horror monthly cover photo. Oh, really? That's wonderful. Now, tell me about the past of this place. I can almost feel the ominous creeping energy resonating from the place. And I love it. Alright, um, so is, is that a clue that he's going to go up to the trophy room? Uh, well, we can't go upstairs. I heard a door. I don't know if that's his coat. Is there anything else I'm supposed to do back here? Was that a screeching? Interesting. Very gothic indeed, lovely. Go up on the table, maybe? don't know what I've got to do with him. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We're going to turn the hints on for this bit. Because I'm, really, I'm not really getting it. Okay, well we, okay, so we need to get him in back into the hallway. Um, so we're getting him nearer to the door. We need to get him out of this room. Maybe 
we got to do something in the hallway? It's possible. Um, let's try interacting with... Oh, we can't. We can't jump up there. All we can do is jump on the coat again. We mess with the curtains when we're on this side. Now, what it says is about the screeching. Yeah, I mean I've done that. How do I how do I get him out of this room? Guessing they need to open this window? Ah, yeah, I heard the screeching again. Like the piercing wail of a banshee coming from beyond. Something is inhabiting this house, I can feel it. Hello. Aspen, stop this indecency right now. It's just our cat. Oh, it's getting cold in here. Let, let me grab my coat. Yeah, okay. So I was definitely on the right lines. I just... Yeah. It needs to be done in a, a very particular way. I'm going to go back in and turn hints off, though. I don't want it to sort of become a crutch. But if we sort of get a bit stuck, we'll go back and turn them on. <gasps> Mr. Barnes? Are you okay? Allergic, uh, uh, allergic shock. Uh, this is an emergency. I gotta go. What the heck just happened? I guess old fellow Bernard, he doesn't look very happy, does he? He's going to go out there, but I can't follow him. There's a bucket there. I wonder if we could do something with the... Oh, no, this door's open. Very jaunty music in this room. Oh, it's Will. Here we... Oh, I didn't, I didn't read what he said. He's just playing. How are you doing, Will? I can't do anything here. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, if the bucket's there, I wonder if we can try and get the Miss Ninjas to open the door. If we... No, oh, I can't get out again. Of course, this is still closed. We've got to do something in this room. I couldn't see anything to interact with. Very quickly turn the, the hint system back on. Yeah, we've got the door, obviously. Can't jump up there. Nothing to do here. Nothing to do here. We can just sit by Will, I suppose, until he pays attention to us. But there's nothing to do there. There's nothing. I can't even interact with Will. Oh! He's put his toy down. We'll grab it. Maybe if we run to the, the door, he'll open it. Oh. Uh -huh. Damn, I saw that too late and he, he got me. Yeah, okay. I think I know. Then we'll hide and maybe he'll open the door? Looking for us? It's 
quick though. Where are you, foul beast? There we go. Uh, I'll take it with us. I'm coming, Dad. What are you doing over there, dummy? Huh, kitty. Huh, took my soldier. Huh. <laughs> that cat is more evolved than you are, that's for sure. Come on now, follow me. We're going to a reception. What's that? A boredom simulator. What? Okay, well, we're outside again. Oh, hello. Another scene, man. That guy's back. Oh, what is it? Huh? No, oh, what is it with you, Bernard? You really want to know? Me? Oh, forget about me. Sometimes it's you who needs to... Sometimes it's you who needs to tell. I, I can't be here, Frank. Not anymore. In the beginning, I thought I had found the right kind of people. A community of free thinkers, visionaries. A family that I could choose. But after all this time, I can't help but feel like... I'm still hanging in the fraternity ward. While all the calamities of the world are devouring people piece by piece. I'm just watching. To endure oneself may be the hardest task in the universe, my friend. You bet, man. You bet. What's Frank up to? Hey Frank, I just saw the weirdest thing, man. There was a tiny worm over there in the uh, flower bed. Oh, hey, we can hear something. Let's stop listening to the hippies. Something going on right here. Oh, what were you? There's something else. Oh. Are we going to find something out here? They said something about a flower bed worm, didn't they? You gonna find something here? Ooh. What are you looking for, Thomas? A worm, Liam. I need it for a merit badge. Oh! The last one, actually. Oh, the last one, actually. Insect study. Worms aren't insects. Tommy, I'm worried. Dad never leaves his room anymore. I know, Shane. What makes him like that? That, I don't know. But don't worry, Shan. Father will be all right. Won't you do something about it? Me? I I don't know what I can do. Why is Liam holding a wrench? You'll find a way. Hmm. Can't do anything else here. Hmm. Doors open. Shan off somewhere. Oh, look at him. Mummy, this thing on my neck is too tight. Just as tight as it needs to be, honey. Who's the reception for? What is this reception? Do we really have to attend? Considering this is for the memory of your grandfather, I think the answer is obvious. 
grandfather must be famous around here. The Mason family did a lot for Hartford and the city remembers some. Looking sharp, Liam. <laughs> Dawn's changed her shirt. How could somebody wear the same outfit both for a wake and a funeral? Shh. And a reception. Do you think I'm hearing impaired or something, Shannon? And this is a diff and this is different. I've dropped dropped the checkered print. Oh, I've dropped the checkered print. When it does that dot 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 ellipses, I um I keep sometimes I think they're gonna say something on the next speech bubble. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't, which puts a different intonation in when you're reading. This must be our ride. Well, we won't be going. Let me get a selfie. Aspen, don't be scared, okay? There is no such thing as a ghost. Or is there? <laughs> We've heard something. What have we heard? Well, that's open. Oh, we stopped to play with our toy, though. <laughs> Can't see anything to interact with here. I kind of wish I could turn the night vision on. It seems to activate when it wants to activate. I don't think there's a door there. I'm not seeing anything here. Can we go upstairs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are all the doors open? No, not all of them. Uh, some are. Well, we'll try from here and move left and try the open ones. Uh, this covenants, this is the will, isn't it? There's a PS, so I couldn't turn the page. I mean, I can't read, I'm a cat. So <laughs> I can only see what the cat sees. But to be honest, it's so pixelated, I couldn't really read it anyway. Now uh, we can go up to the study. That's where the guy was... Oh. Do you have any idea how embarrassing this is? For you? For the family? It's been weeks. Bernard, open the damn door. Can we jump on the handle? Oh. I wonder if we had sticky paws, whether we could. Is this the art room? Alright, yeah, let's get let's get sticky paws and then we'll try the handle. Hey, that's thinking like a cat. I'm done. Ah, oh. well, I'm done fighting. I know what must be done. Ominous. Is this thing new? Uh, yeah, maybe? Okay, we're going off this way. <laughs> Sticky balls as one as one run off, run out. Nunez, who are these people hanging out of my house? What are they doing in the library? I wouldn't know, Mr. Mason. Maybe your son joined the book club. 
seems unlikely. That's the art room. Those are closed. It's a library. I suppose the library was this way. Yeah, let's see what we can find. Well, no, that's just the puddle, isn't it? <clears throat> so is the, is the library... I thought the library was in this corridor. Maybe it's up... Stairs? Well, let's just try playing in the puddle. <laughs> try drinking it. Just interact with anything we can in a vain attempt to trigger something, I suppose. What about up here? No, let's definitely close that. <clears throat> uh, maybe the library's upstairs, then. No, I got that wrong. Oh, wow, look at that, though. It's pretty with the sort of night light coming in through the stained glass. Is this library? Nope. I think all the doors down that way were closed. Uh, this maybe? <coughs> Here we go. Oh, hello. Whoop. Look, I do understand agriculture, sociology, organic architecture, even performance arts. Whoop. What's the next thing he says? But mythology? We need to have a story. Our own story. Okay. End scene. Death Valley? Uh, are you sure about this, Bernard? There is... Oh, no. Cancelled it. <laughs> There's a reason that place is named as such. We don't have unlimited funds, Kathy. We need to keep this within my company's accounts. Besides, if it works there, it works everywhere. What is he planning? Bernard is waiting for us down at the dining hall. All right, I guess. Oh, oh, I guess we go down to the dining hall. I have no idea what he's planning to do. I mean, I would say like set up like a, a commune or something, but honestly, he's going down a more occult route, I think. This is the Armagosa Center for the homeless. Yes, yes, with my client's authority, I approve the transportation and accommodation expenses of our, uh, guests. Good. But we need a larger area for those extra grow pods we ordered the other day. To the south of the Shane Dome, perhaps? Ladies and gentlemen, with utmost pride, I hereby announce that we are just a month away from the field operation stage of Project Aru. Are we finally going there? Is this really happening? This sounds totally insane, but yeah, the construction is actually starting. To Aru, then. To Aru. Now, if you'd be so kind as to follow me to the Grand Hall. Um, the initiation ceremony is, a ceremony is about to commence. It is a symbolic in nature, but nevertheless necessary. Okay, is there anything else going on here? Doesn't look like it. Let's go to the Grand Hall then. Oh, hello, we've got a little letter here. I mean, no chance of reading that, but I assume it's an invitation to a ceremony, perhaps? Oh, here we go. 20,000 saplings! What's with those aspen trees? An aspen tree grows really fast, can survive even bare soil, and is really sturdy and loves the sunshine like a British tourist. 
Besides, it has the ability to clone itself by root sprouting. Debbie, you are the botanist here, not me. Basically, even a dead aspen tree can continue its existence by sprouting genetically identical trees from its roots. Black magic? Okay. Ooh. I don't know. I will find you in whichever hole you run into. I found you! Where is my son? What is all this sand? I will burn your damn Smurf village for this. I see you now. Right, there was me clicking, trying to advance the conversation that set her off. Are you fleeing to your pathetic secret project again? All right, we're gonna have to avoid her. Maybe we can sneak behind the hat stand. Oh, we got to stick to the shadows, I think, haven't we? Can I just inch a little bit ahead? There. I'm not going to read all the crazy nonsense she's spouting. Is she going to move off? Right, do I have to... Oh, no, she's chased me all the way back. Something there, there's some broken text there. Ah, come on, move! Maybe we have to do it when she's looking away? Okay, she turns around and then we can get into the shadows. We hide. <gasps> and she moves off. Okay, hopefully that's the grand hall and I can just get in there now. I knew that she wasn't taken to the reception. We've seen this, haven't we? Well, kind of. Before we begin, I have an announcement to make. I have to announce that these people, whom I am proudly facing today, are in fact the most talented, driven, inspired, and hardworking group of people that have ever walked the face of the earth. Mike, our geologist over there, made sure we've chosen the perfect spot for all our needs from soil adaptability to seismic safety. Our agricultural engineer, Linda, picked the most adaptable and resilient crops to raise, while Ling perfected the housing and irrigation. But let's cut this short, shall we? The truth is, I will be indebted to each of you for my entire life of becoming a part of this feverish dream and putting your hearts and souls into it for many, many months. As we speak, materials and workers are being transported to the location on a daily basis. And we are finally beginning the construction of the Aru Commune. It is a commune. I wonder what the mythology part was about. Now we can proceed with the ceremony. Leaving the material sheath behind us, we shall walk the boundless fields of Aru. Rose. Rose the ferryman. Unburned by the blinding flames of vanity, we shall find the carven path. Rose. Rose the ferryman. For the greater good. 
Yeah, we've got an open window out there. It could be, let's just check here in case something else occurs. Oh, hello. Who are you? Let's just jump on all the stuff we can jump on. I don't think that will reveal anything new. Uh, dum, 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 dum. We could shred the sofa. Dip, 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 dip. Have a look at this. Is that just the same newspaper we've already seen? Uh, this is probably the aspen tree then, showing off the genetic um, sprout root sprouting thing that the, the lady mentioned. Jump up here. Can we knock the candles over and burn the house down? Maybe. Nice fire. Yeah, I think we will go out the window. Oh, it's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Oh, he's gone. What? You want us to come over there? To this to this romantic utopia of yours? Do you think we are some luggage you can carry around? We are your family for God's sake. I'm doing this for all of us. Most of all for our children, Lorraine. To be able to build a fresh future for them. A future untainted by neither guilt nor greed nor oppression and leave behind a legacy that they will not shun, but proudly embrace. Bernard, throughout our marriage, every once in a while I found myself wondering about something. Finally, I know the answer. You are crazy. I knew she was going to say that. <laughs> so be it. You won't be hearing from me for a while, and you will not know my whereabouts. I can't let father interfere, not while we're this close. I want a divorce, you hear me? Kiss the children goodbye for me. I love them with all my heart. I want a fucking divorce, Bernard. Everything will be different when I return, Laurie. Everything will be so different. Hmm, he's trying to build a better world. And she didn't, didn't want to go there. A bit, a bit sorry for him. Mm, okay, going here now. What have we got? Oh, is that? It's like a little toy car or something. Got a little toy digger. Uh, I'm gonna pop that down because it might stop me interacting with other stuff. Is it? Uh, can I have a look at this? Department of Hematology, St. John's Hospital, laboratory report. Uh, named Colin Flynn, emergency contact Murray Flynn. Oh, this looks like a brother. It could be father. Could be son. Platelets. Hematology. Don't know what that could be. Maybe it could be cancer, leukemia, maybe something like that. Not sure. He was very, very sensitive about that carving that we uh, knocked over, wasn't he? So it's it could well be related to that. Let's take that. It's, I, I'm going to guess son, and I'm going to guess this is a, his son's toy. That's my guess. And I wonder if he's going to see us with it and freak out. Oh, wow, wow, wow! Is that a hat with a tail, Tommy? Oh, it's not a wrench. It's obviously some kind of toy. I don't know what it is, though. Mummy! What else did Dad send us? Mm. Do we do something with this? Put it under a Christmas tree, maybe? It does look like a wrench, though, doesn't it? Maybe it's a toy wrench. Maybe it wants to be a plumber or something. Interesting, but I didn't see anything to interact with there. Well, this is open now. Hello, Miss Nunez. Would you like a toy? What's that? Can I pop that? There's something. There's something under here. Sleep. 
want it. Let's take this back. Can I give it to her? Aspen? What is it? Give it me. Will you, little bandido? These toys, they're older than you. You want to lose them all? Now, what do we do with this? Oh, she's gone. These guys want anything? I'm just walking past, kind of checking as I go past to see if there's anything to interact with. There isn't really. Uh, we could go try putting this thing down where we found the truck. I don't know why that feels like maybe a thing to do. Jump up on anything. My turn hints on in a minute. I was thinking maybe put them down with the crit. Well, actually, I can drop it anywhere, can't I? Can I? But I can't jump up to the tree. Maybe I could drop it by drop it by Liam. Or Tommy. I'll put it in the presents. Well, I can jump up now. Now they're not carrying that thing. Where's the little digger? Maybe I've got to find couple of, like three toys for three children or something if I had to guess they said they were all toys so that suggests to me that they were toys those children had but I've only found two maybe because he got the hat Oh, that seems right. And then maybe the digger for the kid? Uh, Liam, I mean, obviously. Yeah. Alright, well that works, but it looks a little bit like I need to find something for Tommy as well. How about this whiskey? Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, that's his, that's his, that's his cap. Yeah, that's what he wants. Huh? It sure as hell snowed, sure as hell snowed hard this year. Worse than 44, I tell you. Sending trinkets where he dares not come himself on Christmas. I'll disinherit this boy, you'll see. We'll call the lawyers right after the holiday. You real. 
Before he turned back to leave, I looked at him one last time. And there was... Uh, there was something in his eyes. A resolution that I'd never seen before. Let's forget about my godforsaken son for a while and have a proper Christmas dinner, shall we? Oh, a lot of crows going by. Ooh. Something bad happened to Tommy. I mean, you know, he's missing, isn't he? So... Mustard seeds. How can one person be so opinionated on mustard seeds? Liam looks the worst for wear. It's just a damn canopy man. Eat it or don't, that's all. Ah, you must be new around here. This house has seen masons fighting over much more ridiculous topics in its past. Like you, like you haven't had enough. You mind your own business, sis. You know what? I'd really love to do that. If my little brother could stop being such a... Such a... Loser, huh? Say it, come on. Why stop now? Say it. It's an easy word. Hey, hey, I wasn't going to say that. Does it matter, Shan? Does it really matter while all you do is impl implying that in every fucking way? Everybody watch out, Mr. Hyde is back in town. You shut your trap, Dawn. Liam, all I'm saying is... Did I make all these sacrifices so you can go on a binge whenever you want? Oh, here it comes again. Don't you think it's time to reconsider this artsy acting interest of yours and... <gasps> interest? I gave my whole fucking life to that interest. Liam, you're shaming us. Hey, Jeanne. Don't you think it's time to reconsider being such a cruel bitch? Mm -mm. I think Shan's losing it. What, what did you just say to me? Shan, he's too drunk. Forget about it. Don't you see I'm fighting for something? Fighting for my vision? Vision? You think you've got a vision? Liam, let me tell you about your vision. You are a effing fort you are effing forty and you have a baby boy whose mother is this close to getting kicked out of the country. While you're making absolutely no money in pursuing your goddamn hobby for which your overall talent can barely compete with that of a random kid performing in a high school play. Ooh, ouch. Shots fired. So don't you tell me about your vision. I'm going to stop swearing. I'm getting demonetized. I'm quite a lot swearing too. Enough! Oh, he's knocked his wife over. Oh, Liam. When did you turn into this? This is not a good time to be here, my sweethearts. Uncle Liam's on one. Oh, okay, it's us. Um... Oh, can we be nice? Can we play? Can we try and diffuse the, <laughs> diffuse the tension? Oh, what with it? What's with Aspen? Does it want to play? Take the cat and look after your brother. All right. I'll join you shortly. That little thing poking out the case isn't there anymore. Do anything in here? Poor kids. That was tense. I don't think I can do anything here, but the door is open, so let's leave. I think she was just talking about her game. Nothing. Oh, what's in here? That could be something. Oh no, that's the case with the thing poking out. What's this? Oh yeah, that's the uh, kind of spiritualist madame, isn't it? Can I 
Try this again. Oh, it's Murray. Is that Murray's cap? We got a scent. Can you smell Murray? No? What is that? It's saying I've got a scent, right? Can I... I think before it's just activated that. Let's go out here and see if it's anything happens. Everything up here is closed now. And I can't go downstairs. So this is the only room I can go in. Yeah, I, I get it. You're taking your cap off in respect, but... So this... T I can't click that. Well, I mean, I'm trying, but it doesn't do anything. I normally get little scent things. All I can do is that spiritual thing. I can pat that. Okay, let's turn the hint on because I'm not getting it. Whatever the, whatever it wants me to do, I'm not getting it. Well, it's not even a hint. Oh, I was clicking that and it wasn't doing anything. And suddenly it does. So that's a little bit annoying. Uh oh. <laughs> the kids got really terrified. I should have seen that coming. Don't be harsh on yourself, honey. He was already drunk as a fiddler when we got there. How dare he behave like that around my kids? Hmm, that's right. Are you listening to me? Of course. Ah, uh, he's not on the right course, that's for sure. Oh. So are we? Whatever. You deal with this tomorrow and I deal with Adeline's vacation. What's wrong with her going for a vacation? Nothing. It's not me, it's Beth. Mm, he's been messaging Beth, remember? Beth? What, what do you mean? I don't know. She's somehow avoiding Adeline. Beth's in college now, and she's probably going through a lot in her own life. You know art schools in California. I see. Has he been having an affair with his kid's best friend? That is horrible. Downstairs? Okay, I'll go downstairs. Ready to flee at the first sign of. Oh, hello. Murray's in the vents. He's coming out of the goddamn walls. Oh, that's his little thing that he, he, he was protecting. Murray is here. Oh no. He's chasing me. He got me. Left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right. Get away from the drunk Murray in the vents. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. How could this happen to us? We were artists, two gentle souls. How could we become so dangerous to each other? As far as I could see, there was only one dangerous person in the room, Farah. Oh, here we go. 
It's a me, the kitty cat. You little. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Kaplan. It's good that you called. I actually had some questions concerning the background of my character. I, of course, know the obvious things about Alexandra, but uh, some details are still vague to me. Like, was he married in his past, or does he have an... Excuse me? What do you mean? What? Dad, hey, I'm in the middle of something here. It's important. But, but I thought we had a deal, and... Sir, I know that we did not sign yet, but I was assured that... I see. I see. Ah, poor Liam didn't get that acting gig he wanted. Oh, we're tired. Might be time to go snoozy bye-bye time. Try and find somewhere to sleep. And then we'll be on day three of three. If you know we're up here to sleep, I guess we'll go downstairs. Go back in the vent. <laughs> Might not be a good idea with Murray living in there. Uh, in here? Is the library? No, it's not the library. We could sleep on the sofa, maybe? Oh, no, we've got a little bed here. We'll do that. What was Murray doing in the vent? Is he living in there? <laughs> he might be. Go upstairs. Oh, it's um, wherever his face is. I need to get in here. Okay, can I? How can I get him to come help me? This is Liam's room, isn't it? Is that him passed out on the bed, or is that just his clothes? Oh, we we'll go outside, can't we? Ah. Oh my god. Liam! Liam! What can we do? Um, don't do that. If we shove this out under the door, maybe maybe the doctor will see it. We might have to go and um, do the same th same thing in the hallway. this. Yeah, we get it. Liam's a drunk. I need the doctor to see it. Oh, no, no, don't jump up there. We can meow at him. Come on. Times are times are getting. Can we steal a cigarette? No. Okay, I don't need a hint. I, I kind of get it.
Is there anything in here? Oh, this is where Liam this is Liam's room, isn't it? Dude. This does nothing. Uh, I need. I think I need to. I, what I want to try and do is steal his cigarette and uh, get him to chase me. But I can't interact with it. I can't interact with anything when I'm up here. Yeah. What does the hint say? Oh, blood on the paws. Okay. I didn't think of that. Is that the wrong way? That's the wrong way. Right. Blood on the paws. Come on, come on, come on. Right. Okay. Right. Now let's go. What did I do wrong? Nunez, open the goddamn door. <gasps> Senor Liam. Oh, Dios, <gasps> Liam. Hey, Nunez, shh, look at me. Calm down now. We'll have to do the. We'll have to do this now, and I need you. Close that door now. The last thing we need is mass hysteria in the house. All right, help me take him out of there. Slowly. Take out all the clean towels. Oh, we don't need a tourniquet. All right, lift his arm now. Hey, higher, above the heart. Okay. Now hold this and press it firmly. Here, right here. Hey, Tommy. Good, good. Hey, Nunez, you need to breathe, okay? What are you up to, Tommy? Alright, I think they're looking after Liam now. Let's see what Tommy's up to. He's going very slowly, that's for sure. Is he running away? I wonder. Ah, is he going in here? He's running away. Oh, Tommy boy, where are you going?
is that? Sling? It like a slingshot or something. Oh! That's how he's getting down. Uh, okay, I can't, I mean, I can't get out now. Maybe? Maybe a room with a window open. We can go downstairs. I just want to check upstairs first. Doesn't look like it. Murray's fixed the vent. Okay, we got it here. Saw him again, I don't think. All we created. Mm. I'm just going to press escape because I want to end it there. I think this is probably gone on for a fairly long time. I wanted to finish it when we went to sleep, but then stuff started happening immediately, so I thought I pretty much had to, had to play that out. Um, but thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cats and the Other Lives. Um, a lot of family drama, a lot of shocking stuff happening. A um, little insight into what Bernard was all about. And he seems like quite a kind guy who tried to do the best thing. I don't know what happened to him in his later years. I'm guessing he was stymied in some way, but I'm sure we'll find that out as, as the game goes into its last act now. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please do hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, that'd be fantastic, and I'll hope to see you again for the next episode. Bye for now.